this is so beautiful. I couldn't not share with you. Yesterday, I told you I would not be available, but this group actually canceled their commitment for 6.30 this morning. And then I also have another <laughs> variation for today, an unusual one away from Magdala. And I thought since I had canceled, I would give you the new very, the a surprise from where I'm going to Nazareth to celebrate mass for a group of, of young people. But um, this red sunrise this morning is just so incredible. If I got it two minutes earlier, it would have been better. The surprise is a very day. We keep this a little bit short because the schedule for me is tight this morning since I leave for Nazareth. Just a major substantial point. The readings get more intense and dramatic. We're still over at Capernaum with Jesus. The letter to the Hebrews gets more uh, complex. And <clears throat> there's a very big line that's difficult for us to understand. What's easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or to say, rise, take up your mat and walk as a paralyzed person. And obviously the logic that's uh, insinuated by Jesus is that it's a much bigger deal to have your sins forgiven. So today we could say, what's a bigger deal in our lives? To have a cancer immediately cured or to have our sins forgiven? And somehow, I think we would all more readily agree that faced with cancer or forgiveness of sins, so many people today would definitely say, I need my cancer forgiven. My sins are not that important. And that's actually the huge issue of our society. Sin is not important. Sin is not important. And that's a major, major blindness. This is a major, major, major blindness, major issue. And I know that this is too much for some people who are participating here because you don't share our faith. I'm just speaking from the heart, from a very deep conviction about the malaise of our world. So there you have it in a nutshell, the core of the Christian contribution in the world. And because sin is, and the forgiveness of sin is so important, uh, in a certain sense, that's why Christianity has become so, so active in doing good. And by these statements, I'm not declaring that Christians are in any way uh, less prone to become criminals and to do terrible things especially when we abandon our faith, when we abandon our principles, when we abandon the living connection to our faith. And this is it. This is the problem. This is really, really the problem. This is the big challenge for life. Something happened last night. Uh, another group of 250 pilgrims who are here doing an extraordinary program. And they had five priests uh, with them, one in every bus, five buses. And last night they had a special program of confessions of forgiveness of sins over at Ein Gif. 
and we were over there till 10 o'clock last night serving them four of our priests from here they asked us to help the celebration of the forgiveness of sins brings so much into our lives so much joy so much relief so much release rise take up your mat and walk so that you can see that the son of man has power to forgive sin what an extraordinary reality This is a very heavy, big thought today, people. It's also connected with the readings of the letter to the Hebrews and the commentary on Psalm 95 about entering into his rest. It's great relief when cancer is cured, but when sins are forgiven, entering into his rest. But when sins are forgiven, entering into his rest. This is it, people. Look at that sun coming out again. I'll do a little spot on Instagram. And let's leave it there for today. God bless you. This was <laughs> big, heavy stuff. But there, that sun brought us out again. God bless you. Maybe we'll see you from Nazareth today. And uh, maybe also not live, uh, depends on possibilities of connection over there. I don't do too much live streaming in Nazareth. God bless you. See you later, alligators. Come on, camera, turn around. Let's see that sun again. There we go. That light coming out from all that darkness.